My name is Meredith Hartley and I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the lab of Tom Scanlon at Oregon Health and Science University. Our lab is based in the program in chemical biology in the Department of Physiology and Pharmacology. Today I'm going to tell you about a study that we published recently in endocrinology uh, focused on X-linked adrenal leukodystrophy or XALD. This study was published with my mentor Tom Scanlon and my colleagues Lisa Kirkamo and Tapestry Banerjee. XALD is a rare disease characterized by adrenal gland dysfunction and white matter demyelination. 40% of patients with XALD develop brain demyelination during childhood, and if symptomatic, the disease is untreatable and often fatal. XALD is caused by an accumulation of very long chain fatty acids, abbreviated VLCFAs. VLCFAs are produced in the ER of the cell, like other fatty acids. However, uniquely, they are degraded in the peroxisome with the help of a transporter called ABCD1. Patients with XALD have mutations in ABCD1, and this leads to an accumulation of very long chain fatty acids in the cell, leading to the disease symptoms. An attractive therapeutic strategy for XALD involves a second transporter, ABCD2. Studies have shown that upregulation of ABCD2 can lead to increased transport and degradation of the VLCFAs. Also, ABCD2 is positively regulated by thyroid hormone. In our lab, we study the action of thyroid hormone through the development of thyromedics, such as sabeterome, also known as GC1. Sabeterome is a selective thyromimetic that has selective tissue action and therapeutic advantages over thyroid hormone. In our study, we have evaluated the actions of thyroid hormone and sabeterome in a mouse model of XALD uh, that has elevated VLCFAs throughout its tissues and serum. We took these mice and we treated them for either one or four weeks with thyroid hormone and sabeterome, and then we measured the VLCFAs in serum, adrenals, and brain. What we observed was lowering of VLCFAs in serum and adrenal glands at both time points. However, we did not observe any lowering in the brain. And this was really surprising to us because we did see upregulation of ABCD2 in the brain after only one week of treatment. This led us to postulate that VLCFAs in the brain have longer half-lives than in peripheral tissues. So to test this idea, we tested the mice for 12 weeks and then measured the VLCFAs. And this time we observed lowering in the serum and adrenal glands. And this time, excitingly, we observed lowering in the brain. We took a small group of mice out six additional weeks and measured the VLCFAs again. And this time we observed additional lowering in the brain, which supports our hypothesis that VLCFAs in the brain have increased half-lives. In conclusion, we are really excited about these results because sabeterome is the first pharmacological agent that's been identified that can lower VLCFAs in a sustained manner in all tissues associated with XALD pathology. And furthermore, these results support the development of a CNS permeable thyromimetic for the treatment of XALD.